Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to be taking the San Kui Ram in a new direction. Slightly, a little bit of changes here today. Now, I'm doing Tyranitar, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I picked this because I thought you guys would want to see it, because it's very popular, and it's a pseudo-legendary, and I didn't have high hopes for the run. Now when you look at the typing, it all starts right there. Rock and dark, just not very good. Rock specifically when you're weak to ground, grass, water, fighting, it's just not very good. And then dark comes in and it doubles that weakness to fighting and it adds in bug, which you don't really, you see some fighting, but you don't see that much bug. Now looking over at the stats, pretty amazing. 505 would put it at second behind only Mewtwo in Gen 1. And everything else is great, but that 61 speed is a detriment. And the 134 base attack is actually would be tied with Dragonite for number one. But if you look over at this move set, and keep in mind that Dark is a special type, you can see that there's not much physical moves that can really go through it. Now something interesting that doesn't really matter is that Thrash is a 120 base power move in Gen 6, so that's pretty cool, but I don't think I'll really utilize it that much. So more than likely, this is going to turn into a special focused run. And we haven't done the Dragonite run yet, but that's kind of probably what's going to happen there as well. So we're going to begin the run. If you haven't noticed already from the thumbnail and me talking, this is another live commentary run. I want to give this another go. Hopefully my audio sounds a little bit better than last time. And today I'm going to be doing times 4 speed. Usually I do in-game time times 3 speed. Today we're going to be doing times 4 speed with a real life timer that will start as soon as I hit new game. And as soon as I hit new game that means that obviously I'm going to be... You know what? I'll name my person. I'll name it everything normal and we'll just get into it. Alright, we are off to the races. I'm just going to name myself A. I'm going to do that. Maybe I should name the Pokemon, but... Coming up with names is hard, uh, you know, something we all struggle with, trying to be funny, I guess. Uh, I would like to have something about the fighting weakness, like no chop, please, but how many people are actually going to enjoy that? So today we're going with the tried and the true A speed running name, and, you know, I want to make this change because eventually when I get to other generations, I will be doing this similar format. This is like the Scott's Thoughts patented format that you see every Tom, Dick, and Harry copy when they're doing speed runs these days, so I need to get good at it because Scott will have more races in the future, and you know, we just need to get ready for it. So I'm not going to babble on too long. I don't have high hopes for Tyranitar, but I do think there is some potential here. I think its stats and its good move pool might just be able to kind of Nidoking King it, I guess if you would say. Kind of be like a Nidoking, King, just weak to a lot of common stuff, but able to push past it with a great move pool and pretty decent stats. I will be battling all of the optional trainers in Viridian, and I won't be doing the optional rival battle. Um, I haven't mentioned this yet, but the one thing, the biggest detriment that's going to be with Tyranitar is the slow leveling group that all the pseudos find themselves in. Um, just couple that with the, all the weaknesses you have. It just means that it's really hard to level up past your problems because it's just really slow. Like, it's really true to the name, guys. It's like absurdly slow. And when you're looking at, you know, you look at Pokemon and it's like, well, they start off with bad moves on Brock and that's what holds them back. No, a lot of Pokemon are just straight up held back because they are in the awful slow leveling group. And I hate it. I really do. It's one of my most hated things. But anyway, these battles are easy. I think we can just jump straight ahead to Brock. I don't expect this to be too bad. Uh, like I said earlier, Dark is a special typing, which means that we get bailed out here and we can just straight up go for that. Now, I don't really get the entire moveset. Well, I do actually. I say that because Gen 6, there's the physical special split. And that means that... Screech and Leer would actually be useful, but in a Gen 1 playthrough using this rule set, it's not that useful. I'm going to overbuy Pokeballs because I don't think I'm going to allow myself to use safe states at all. I don't want to risk it, and the Giraffe Rig video is awful. Safe states messed with my game, and they made it to where I had to restart the run a couple of times, so none of that today. And I suspect that this will be really easy. I do think I'm going to pick up maybe one extra battle. 
Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I don't expect much opposition here, though. It's worth noting that catching our flyer is nothing. I don't even know why I mentioned that. If, if it took some time and I had to reset, I would not count those resets, but I would lose the time. So those would not be counted resets, but I guess it's a moot point because I caught it on the first try. So good job for trying to explain something and the game making me look like a fool. I am going to pick up this super nerd right here. Usually in Sanque ROMs, especially if you're holding on to normal stuff, not great, but here, special move. We can make very quick work of this one, and that's it. I'm also going to battle this double grass lass here. I think it'll be very easy, even though I wish it was a two shot, but it's not. But what can you really do? Oh, I forgot he has Vine Whip. The next thing I'm going to do in Mount Moon is pick up Mega Punch. Uh, we can take advantage of that good, nice, and juicy attack stat on top of not running out of PP and have to heal a whole lot extra. Overall, I just think that the times 4 speed metric will just kind of add uh, a little bit to these runs that they're missing. Like, we're not counting them on the tier list, so it'd be kind of fun just to... Just to get good at it. I think it's a good rule set. I I think Scott n knocked it out of the park and he refined it. There's a reason why every other person does this. Uh, I think it'll be more competitive. And the game's moving at a faster rate. Why I didn't heal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, we made it past. That was lucky. That was lucky. I got caught up in the sauce. I was talking to you guys, and I almost had a reset at the Super Nerd, but that's okay because the Super Nerd is actually really good in this uh, ROM hack, and I wouldn't be too ashamed by it because a lot of Pokemon die here. I think Garantino was the first to start it way back in the day. Now with the slow leveling group, I am a little bit worried about this spot, the Pichiotto. I think we'll go for a Screech into a Mega Punch, and no Sand Attack means that we're probably good Bot being a dark top. Now, conveniently enough, what I think is kind of funny is the fact that Tyranitar gets three dark moves via level up, but Umbreon couldn't get a single one. Uh oh, bubble. Jesus Christ. That's our first reset. But yes, guys, I think it's kind of hilarious that Umbreon couldn't get a single dark move. Yet Tyranitar is sitting here. Sand attack. Oh my god. Just fucking whip it out and put it in me. You know what I'm saying, guys? Huh? I shouldn't be going for Mega Punch because it has less accuracy anyway. This is a loss. We're gonna die. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay, I can't sit here and get mad because I'm on the actual clock here. Man. Man, man, man. What do you do? How about Screech, Leer... Mega Punch. One shot. That works for me. It doesn't matter about the Rattata. Just get it out of here. I think we go for Screech. And we hope that Mega Punch can one shot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the play. So a little bit of a hiccup. But like I said, Tyranitar has tons of weaknesses. And we're going to see pretty much all of them on display today. So I suspect... Well, actually, no, I don't, because I need to save it here. We're about to potentially see the first fighting move of the game, and I should have healed. I didn't heal. It is what it is. If I reset, so be it, but oh, no. Oh, it flinched. Okay. I'll take that. All right, here's the second potential fighting move, and Nugget Bridge is honestly a nightmare for uh, Tyranitar. Here we go. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Oh my god. Do you guys see that damage? I can't dwell on it. I gotta reset because we're playing at times 4 speed. And we're playing on the clock here. But Jesus Christ. And that's gonna be like a theme. Like That's gonna be something that haunts us for the rest of the run. Like We're gonna have... Like we already got three resets. I'm gonna have to save here too because it's another fighting top, guys. It's... Like, we cannot survive a double weak fighting hit. Like, it is absolutely absurd. Look at that. Jesus Christ, that karate chop. It just knocked our head clean off. I expected this. Looking into this, I was like, 
especially towards the end, there's a couple of fights where I'm just like, I just don't see a way to get past this without just leveling up and wasting like 40 minutes of, of grinding. And I was like, well, you just gotta make it as consistent as you can and just kind of hope that maybe reset until you get what you need. And that's kind of the concession with Tyranitar because everything else you can kind of level up to a certain level and you can kind of plan out a little bit. But when it comes to fighting moves, he gets absolutely obliterated. Jesus Christ, speak of the devil. And honestly, our best thing is like, hope it doesn't use like a karate chop turn one. Don't miss. Stop missing. Why are you missing? Whew, that made me almost upset. Okay, so thankfully, well, actually not even thankfully at all, because immediately, like right here, immediately, there's another double kick. I was going to say we don't have to fight fighting types for a while, but that was a goddamn lie. We literally have to fight another one here, and we'll have to fight another one soon. Why am I going? What is happening? No double kicks. Great. I think I can confidently say that we can finish off the, this route without having to go over it. Try as you might today, there is no way you're taking on Misty at this level. Uh, if you could survive a, a couple of hits, maybe, but I just... Everything we've seen... Oh, speak of the devil, it's another fighting top. Oh, that hurts. And there's just nothing you can do about that, guys. But at least we got bot for those other pesky types. Alright, after that battle, I am going to learn Dig. We'll get rid of Leer. Dig, Body Slam Core, Tale as old as Time. It'll at least allow us to take advantage of our great... What am I doing here? Okay, Full Restore. Almost messed up. For some reason, I'm not, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not recording. And I'm nervous. Guys, I'm nervous about playing on Times 4 speed. I don't know why. This always, like... It puts so much pressure on me. Please one-shot these mother... Oh, oh, oh. Rock side. At level 19, we run lock, rock, lock side. At level 19, we learn rock slide, guys. And my goal here is to... Rock slide is so powerful, by the way. Uh, stabbed rock slide with 134. But my goal here in this segment of the game is to get to about level 23 by the end of this. Uh, only four repels today because we'll have to make an early little visit because we have to skip Misty. But there's literally nothing we can do about that. I am quickly from... I love that other runs allow you to learn like certain things. And now we are just straight up taking a cue from the Onyx video. And I am going over here to fight those three trainers. Because they're just really easy, really fast and efficient one-shots with like evolved Pokemon like that Magneton there. So all these trainers are really good. And I'm just going to run over here and I'm going to tackle them real quick. Because we're going to have to do some training today, guys. Use my lock side on these guys, you know what I'm saying? I accidentally ran into an extra trainer and it's a water top. So help me God. God help me. Okay, thankfully we didn't outspeed it. Those are the kind of little annoying mistakes that I, you really can't help. So now we can go down to the SSN. And guys, today we are blessed. We get access to Body Slam 2. So that's always good. 85 base power, normal move, old tried and true. Oh my god, you know Double Kick 2? Alright, that's a little embarrassing. But uh, at worst, all it did was cost us... Not too much. I mean, it's just embarrassing. Let's just let's just call it like it is. Now, I guess I guess we're gonna have to save it on this little man right here. <sighs> Did I do my re is my reset timer working? I could have swore that I'm on seven resets. I won't know until post. Honestly, I just won't know. I think we're supposed to have seven right now. I don't want to pause the timer and pause the recording and all that kind of stuff to figure it out, but I think we're on seven resets. I don't think it matters. But we do have Body Slam. As for rival number three, I don't... I even started late into the fight. It doesn't matter. This one is probably just like a series of incredibly easy one-shots, except for this water moves coming up, but... 
<laughs> we should be okay. It looks like we're okay. And level 23 is what I want it to be. Level 23 is what I have determined uh, to be the correct level to, to... You may not beat Misty every time with Hydro Pump and, and High Crits and stuff like that, but it gives you a decent shot. And we'll see that in a minute. I was able to, I guess smartly, maybe I wasn't too stupid, but I figured out how to get 7 on there without disrupting the flow of the game. So we should be fine for now. But Misty, on the other hand, guys. Misty, I don't know. Uh, all we can do is hope we don't die in one hit and bite one shot. Wow, that was much easier than I thought. I was worried for absolutely nothing. So we will have to backtrack for Surge, but that's just fine. Um, as for Rock Tunnel, I don't think, unless something pops in my mind that I think we need to say, uh, I don't think we'll have to worry about it. There is going to be the Cubone Grunt at the start if it hits uh, Bone Club. It might be some problems, but, you know, hopefully we just cut ahead straight to Celadon and nothing happens. We have made it to Celadon. No, nothing bad at all. I didn't get hit with the Bone Ring and almost die or anything like that. So don't believe everything that you hear, motherfuckers. I am going to, I guess I'm going to immediately go into the Rocket Hideout because... Muscle memory has sent me down this path already. Uh, I wasn't quite planning on this, but, you know, here we are. I don't think we need any PP ups. So I think we'll be fine without it. I'm not sure exactly... You know, I got a rough outline for this. Like I said, the Sanqui motto moving forward, maybe we use this same times for speed. I do one test run, and then we go straight into it. That's going to be my mindset for the next, I don't even know how many Sanquay videos, but that's the mindset of it. I'm just kind of waiting for that moment in the run where I just don't realize once again that something has a fighting move, and oh my god, Tyranitar when he gets hit with a fighting move just folds up like a little piece of paper. It's kind of ridiculous, we've already seen it a lot. We're at seven resets. Was every reset due to a fighting move? That's something I won't be able to look at till post. And I probably won't even remember to put anything in about it, but I, most of them were, for 100% sure. Now at this point, I'm heavily debating, like, do I, I need to go uh, get a fresh water to backtrack for Surge, for sure. But do I want to buy vitamins now, or do I want to wait? I just want to make this run pretty good, is all I want. God, Sanqui, I should be using Rock Slide here, yes, if anybody comments that, congratulations. Thrash is really strong. I'm not going to learn it, though. Oh, here's a Silphco. Here's a Silphscope egg. Boop. So I am indeed. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to do nothing but go to the top floor. Buy me a little sodi Pop. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to sell a couple things. And honestly, guys, I think I'm just going to be on my way. We'll come back later. There was a couple of things that I wish I could have done in my test run that I think we have the opportunity to test out here. Now, unfortunately, we do have to backtrack uh, because, I mean, if, it is what it is. Like, when you're weak to water, you have to skip Misty. There's no shame in it. Lots of runs have to do it, and really the only runs that are weak to it that don't have to are, like, the elite of the elite. And, you know, maybe Tyranitar can get there, but for now, we gotta do, we gotta make this walk a shame. It is what it is. I guess now is as good of, oh my god, I ran into the Butterfree Trainer. One Rock Slide will take it out, but now is as good of a time to, as any to say that I will be pausing the ROM to do the puzzle so that no RNG will be held during that section of the game. I actually hate it. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to save it. I'm going to pause it. All right, we are back. We got it in. I think that's a good rule. If you don't disagree with it, then you're probably not very fun. Uh, you probably have other psychological problems that you should address before you watch my videos. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not ground type, but we have a ground move. It's Surge. Who cares? Thunderbolt is a pretty good move, but I eh, maybe we do need it now. Maybe I don't need it now. I don't know. We do know that this Pidgey needs flying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's rival number four, the most gut-wrenching, heart-stopping battle in all the runs. Ooh, bot. Love that bot coverage here. Get me a little nibble, you know what I'm saying? And here we go once again. Water gun. 
bubble. Yikes. At level 30, I don't know if I outspeed the Ghastlies because like I mentioned earlier, our speed is absolute garbage. Oh my god, I made a mistake. I made a mistake and it's... I'm, I can't correct this mistake. My mistake is that I did not buy super repels. So on the fly right now, I have to see how many do I can I get rid of now. Oh man, that's a blunder. I'm not too excited. We're going to waste a lot of time. I didn't mean to battle this trainer, but it's fine that I did. Eesh. I'm just trying to buy myself some time, guys. When this repel runs out like it's about to, I'm about to start getting wild encounters. And I'm not going to be too happy about it. Come on, you son of a bitch. We're almost there. No. It really wasn't that bad, all things considered, though. I need to dip into the Mar. I really don't want to. I absolutely hate that I have to do this. I don't know how many I need to buy. I'm just going to buy eight. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I have to. I have to go back in here and do this. But I am going to hold off on that buy. Because I just want to get this rare candy, go to the Safari Zone, pick up some more high money items, and then make my one big grand purchase. Alright, we finally back. I'm going to pick up pretty much every extra little ounce of money I can get. That includes going up here and buying one each of each of these uh, soda pops so I can get all the TMs to sell. Normally don't like doing that, but it is what it is. I do need to keep Ice Beam. Is my item pack full? Maybe in another world it would be kind of smart to hang on to um, another copy of Rock Slide just in case you need to replace it. We're not doing that today. Sorry. Not a smart stream today. We're buying five carbos, two proteins, and I'm going to save that ice beam. We'll probably end up saving that ice beam for like the very end on Lance if I had to remember correctly, but I don't really. So I want to go ahead and just save it just in case. We're only level, oh, we level 31, and we're going against level 38, so whatever. Poisoned, I love being poisoned. There are a couple of extra jugglers with psychic tops that are just waiting to, for me to bite up. So I'm going to do that. Wow, I'm shocked that that cadaver survived. Now we are on to Koga. I suspect that this one won't be too bad with Dig and such a very high attack. And, and I shouldn't have used the second Dig right there. That wasted a little bit of time. But these runs are not going to be perfect. Self-destruct. Now, fun fact, we'll talk about this uh, while I'm trying to struggle to learn Dark Pulse. Um, Self-destruct and explosion lowers your defense by two stages before it hits you. Me and Scott was talking about this the other day. And I find that fascinating, to be honest with you. So that means that, like, explosion base power of 170 is essentially a base power of uh, 340. So it's kind of absurd. Now, I want to take on some extra battles in here, but I have not tested this. This is just theory of crafting from my earlier runs when I was just thinking, maybe I should do this and that or whatever. So I'm just hoping that this level allows me to get these extra trainers down so that I can get a couple of extra levels. And so far, I, would, I think it's safe to say that we're going to sweep through this gym and there's no need to show it until Erica at least. All right, as for Erica, can we one-shot Victory Bell? That is the one huge question, and it looks like it's a yes. Tangela, Tangela gonna do its best. Mega Drain, pathetic damage, even though it's super effective. Get out of here, you little ball of bonds. And that's the battle over. And now, my friends, it's time for Seal. Now, we are not a ground top, but we do have very high, very, very high attack. So, Earthquake and the 10th floor are something that I'm going to look into. I'm going to battle a couple of extra trainers as well. Uh, I do believe that this nice little scientist here is one of those trainers that are just very good to take out. So we'll cut back in a second. When I said a second, I literally meant a second because I completely forgot about this Machoke trainer. God help us. Oh my God, he used Seismic Toss. Thank heavens. Thank the Lord. Thank Arceus. 
Now this trainer right here, this scientist right here is specifically really good. Has a lot of evolved Pokemon. And the Sanqui Rom, it's double, a lot of them are double weak to ground, so you can really rack up on some experience here, and I really need all the experience I can get. Make my way up here, I am going to battle a couple of extra trainers like I already have. I'm going to get access to the bed, and then I'm going to go take on rival number five. I want to really just kind of smooth out this fight just a little bit. Oh no. Please don't do this to me. Body Slam actually has higher base power than Dig, so... There you go. And if somebody's saying, no, it don't, it has 100, then pay attention, dude. Get a grip on yourself. Understand what we're doing here. Dig has 80 base power in Gen 6. Playing this ROM makes me really realize how good Umbreon would be if it had Dark Pulse or something similar. Dark Pulse would have made the Umbreon run really good. So I'm going to learn Thunderbolt over Body Slam for now. And... Time for rival number five. Thunderbolt should be a one hit. We are a little bit higher level than I was last time. So I shouldn't have those same struggles. Alakazam. Oh, it feels... Oh, accuracy fail. Cool. Uh-oh. Accuracy fail into a water top. Okay, Bubble's just not going to do it, bud. The bubble did it, bud. Oh, no. Unfortunately, guys, I made a huge blunder, and I have to take on a couple of extra scientists again, and that's really going to hurt our final time because we are just doing it. This is why I don't like real-life time, because I made a personal mistake, and I have to redo a few battles, and that's just going to add to the time. It is what it is. It, it's good for you guys to see, like, in a live setting, like, if I'm just doing, like, a one-chance, like, speed run that's not completely 100% optimized it's good for you guys to see that but yeah it really does waste a lot of time and i guess the main reason that i just don't like this metric which i am going to adopt and i am going to get better at it is that i feel like that was just a me mistake like i just didn't save it it was just a complete user error and i just feel like it's just I shouldn't be pun Tyranitar shouldn't be punished for it. All right, here's our next retry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to teach Thunderbolt. Not like this. Why am I making so many little tiny mistakes? It doesn't feel great, but I think it's really, it's probably valuable to you guys to kind of know the process. <sighs> Should I just go for Dark Pulse or my strongest move, Rock Slide? It doesn't matter. Cool. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. And now the next logical step. Even though I didn't have Thunderbolt for that fight, I probably should go ahead and just teach it. But now, Sabrina should be a nice, easy cakewalk. The problem I made, the mistake I made in my test run, was that I got rid of Rock Slide prematurely. And I think this fight will be very easy without it. So Venomoth with bug moves is obviously a problem, but with Rock Slide, it's a nothing. It's a big old burger of nothing. Big old nothing burger. We can just keep it rolling. Now we're going to take the most brisk swim down to Cinnabar, and I do think that we need to take on some extra trainers today. Thankfully, in Pokemon Red, you do not have to answer the question first, so we can save a little time, and Rock Slide will not be on my final moveset, so we might as well just start getting rid of it here. Everything should be nice and smooth, so extra trainers here today. And I think we're pretty much right at accomplishing my goals here. Uh, I mean, honestly, on this Grou Growlithe is so bad, guys. Don't even take Growlithe seriously. Right there, I could have saved some time by digging because I got overconfident. But I think we can dig two times and I think Blaine will be down. Yes. Perfect. That's all the gems down. We have Giovanni left. And I'm excited. Kind of excited. Because we got the toughest trainer in the game coming up. Replace Dig with Earthquake. And then I can replace... I could probably just go ahead and replace Body Slam as well. Yeah, we'll replace Body Slam as well. And I think other than that, I think we are fantastic, ready to go. Alright guys, toughest trainer in the game. I kid you not. 
I think we're a little bit lower level than I want to be for this. If we get lucky, we can get lucky, but I don't expect we're gonna get too lucky right here. Yikes, that hurts. Oh my god, once again. I just don't know what to do about this fight. I used rare candies on my first attempt, and it made it a lot better. But when I got to the end, there we go, we made it through it. At the end of the day, I made it to the end of the run, and I was just like, things were just a little bit too tough, and I knew if I had like a couple of extra rare candies, I could make it through. And me getting to that point right there without having to use candies, picking up some extra battles. Oh no, hang on, I gotta pause it. Sorry about that. It wasn't a pause for you guys at all. Um, just taking a cue from Scott, working with Scott a little bit, I actually put um, my resets in the middle, and then when I get to double digit resets, I need to put a different script on. So hopefully it looks pretty good. Can you do something to kill me? No. Okay, that's Giovanni down. I don't think we can get sub hour. It's unfortunate. We could have if it wasn't for my dumb mistakes, but... That's just part of this, like, that's part of it. Part of these live times four speed runs. But I'm hoping we can finish strong here with rival number six. Uh, we're a little bit under leveled. But everything that we've been building up to, I think we should be okay. We got Earthquake, we got Dark Pulse, we got really good coverage for a Sanqui Rom. And it didn't use Kinesis. Now all we gotta do is survive a bubble. Thank God we survived a bubble. Now I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna learn Crunch. Um, if you look over, they have the. They're both special moves. They both have 80 base power. They both have the same PP. One doesn't really seemingly have an advantage over the other. But if I look back, it's confusing because in Gens 1, 2, and 3. Crunch lowered special defense, but in Gen 4, 5, and 6, and whatever, it lowers defense now. So I don't know which one it does on here, but either way, the point I'm keeping Dark Pulse for is that there's a chance to flinch, and I think the chance to flinch is just overall a little bit better than Crunch's defense drop or special defense drop, because it, it doesn't matter. It's going to be tight here. I only have three super repels left, so I need to play it safe. And on times four speed... I like to just get off the bike. Just play it safe, guys. Don't try to do anything fancy. Just get off the bike. Save yourself a little time. I think I'm done trying to do any extra battles. I think we're just going to go straight to the league. I am a little worried that like we've messed up our buys and stuff this run. We Overall, there's a lot of mistakes. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of super repels, and it's going to force me to have to take a lot of more wild encounters. So we're on our last one right now. All I gotta do is barely make it. Do not mess that up. Perfect. I'm gonna waste a little bit of time here, guys. Just a tiny bit of time. 7,000. Okay, not worth it. If I was a little bit lower, I would have fought that juggler right there with psychic tops. It would have been a very easy battle, but I don't think we would have leveled up off of it, so... Eh, not worth it to me. We have 11 rare candies. There's no reason not to use every single bit of them. I don't think we'll learn anything. There is some, uh, worth noting now if you're this deep into the video, there are some higher level moves that we can get, uh, like Hyper Beam at like level 73, but I keep my moves condensed. Scott thinks it's important to uh, show every move just in case somebody don't have to look it up, but I just like to show what's relevant. And what's relevant here is Thunderbolting every single one of Lorelai's Pokemon until she dies. That's the only thing that I need to really care about. No one cares. I'm never going to re reach level 73. Who cares if I could have got Hyper Beam then? No one cares. That's Lorelai down. Fairly easy battle. And oh my goodness, guys. We're double weak to fighting. And I am not prepared for this one. I am very scared of this one. Please don't do it. Okay, we got lucky. I don't want to use special attacks. Because their special defense is actually a lot better. Don't use submission, brother. Oh my god, Bruno, first try. I was very worried. That fight was... That fight wasn't great in testing. You can imagine why. You've seen what 
you've seen what fighting has done to me in every other spot, any every other aspect of this run you've seen. So I don't expect this one to be too bad. I did accidentally use oh, that sucks. Shouldn't matter. I accidentally used the wrong move and I paid for it, but the fact that I'm outspeeding Haunter right there gives me a lot of hope that my adjustments are going to be really good. So okay, so we need to use a full restore. And this is where we're going to teach. We're going to get rid of Rock Slide. I'm going to teach Ice Beam for Lance. And we're pretty much tailor-made to absolutely crush uh, Lance, as you would, as you would expect. Should be a very, very easy one-shot on the Gyarados. We should outspeed. I don't think there's a chance we'll out... Oh my god, I forgot a very worrisome part about this fight. Oh my god, okay. I kept getting one hit by Iron Head earlier. Iron Head crits. But apparently it doesn't matter. And we should be at a higher level than last time. So that means that the champion fight... Shouldn't be this huge hard fought battle like it was on my previous attempt. The champion fight, I actually didn't beat the champion last time I played this run. Uh, it was too oppressive. There was a couple of things and I'm hoping I have the ranges now. So we'll find that out very soon. Dark Pulse, very cool to see. I should have ice beamed. I didn't. We crit so it didn't matter anyway. Okay, first thing is I could not outspeed or one-shot the Executor. Now it looks like I can. I crit, so we really don't know, do we? Blast Toys. Now I outspeed it. That's what I wanted to see. Super effective. And that's the run over. I think it was roughly about... Oh, I accidentally reset that. Uh-oh. It doesn't matter. There was 10 resets. I'll have to look back at the time. It was something like 1 hour 50 minutes or something like that. So, you can see the potential that Tyranitar has in. And you can also see with 3.39 uh, in-game time, you can see the effect. I think Tyranitar honestly had room for a 2.50, 2.40 time, like on, our, on my rule sets. But playing at a higher speed means that frames and input, the in-game time just suffers. The higher you go up in speed, the more the in-game time suffers. So 339, but in-game time is kind of irrelevant when you're playing on times 4 speed and you're doing a real-life metric. So not quite one su sub-hour run, but we could have easily got one sub-hour run. Why do I keep saying one sub-hour? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody really cares. We could have got that sub-hour. I made a ton of mistakes. Overall, this is just something I decided on a whim. I said, hey, let's do Tyranitar. Let's do it on real time. Hopefully I didn't babble on too long. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I tried to make an adjustment at the end here on my window and the green is showing on the bottom. I hate that. I absolutely hate it. But what I'm wondering is if this green was showing the entire run. If it was, I'm going to be very upset and I'm likely going to have to record this whole entire video over again. And that's not going to be very pleasant. I'm not going to be very happy about that. But guys, love you. Hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, shout out to my members. And if you're not on this list and you've recently became a member, don't worry. I record in advance. So that's why my stream time, that's why all this stuff's not synced up. So JWJ, Mutus Dozen, D's Master, TR2G Hipster, Cheesy Speak Easy, Josh Ferment, and Kendall C., Thank you for your continued support. I really need it. If anybody else wants to, just subscribe. I didn't even tell you guys to say a word or anything. Like, comment, share with your friends. Subscribe if you want to see some more uh, content. I do it every week. You guys already know. Become a member if you want to help out. And that's about all I have for you guys today. And I really hate that this green little eyesore is showing up on my screen right now. Bye.